Thane. And I'm Bryce. And this is Out TV. TV. We have a great show for you this week, so stay tuned. First up, Ask All Nation. I'm with Devin Rail. Devin, do you think you could survive the zombie apocalypse? Yes. How? I would go to great grocery stores and get all the food and stuff there and then keep that as long as I could, and that's about how. How long do you think you survived the zombie apocalypse? Probably three years. Only three? Yeah, probably. You heard it. Hi, I'm with Cassie. Cassie, could you survive the zombie apocalypse? Uh, Probably not. You heard it. I'm here with Tate. Tate, how would you survive the zombie apocalypse? I'd probably get a bunch of guns and a little SUV. And I'd put a lot of guns in the SUV. And I'd drive real far. Oh, zombies. Makes sense. With that, how long do you think you could survive for? But you also got to think about all the things, like resources that you could run out of. Uh, probably till my gas tank runs out and I find another truck or something. Just keep on driving. Just keep on driving. You don't have like any end goal to like get out of this, right? Just till the zombies die. <laughs> okay, good deal. Thank you. How are you guys gonna survive a zombie apocalypse? I'll follow Sydney Pitts everywhere because she's smart and good at everything. So. Okay. Hi, All Nation. Bryce, I am here with Arthur for Ask All Nation question. Arthur, how? Would you survive a zombie apocalypse? Um, I would try to go somewhere with like that's very high, so zombies couldn't reach me. Um, and every once in a while, I'd go somewhere for food, and then kind of just like build off of that. I like it. I like it. So, so with that, how long do you think you could survive for? Five years. Then I'd probably. I don't know. Five. Five years? Are you going to try to f find the cure? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Layla for Ask All Nation question. Layla, how would you survive a zombie apocalypse? I'd probably just get all the supplies I need and then just hang out in my house. In your house? In my house. So with that, how long do you think you could survive for? Probably a while. Good deal. Thank you. Could you survive the apocalypse? No. I'd become a walker. Now let's see them highlights. Caden finally cut his hair and now he can see the room. Do I even need to say anything? Roll the clip. Look at Cooper man with the look. Right here is a rebound by Molly for a strong putback. Here's a pass to Elena for a nice shot. Lastly, here's big girl Sid taking an impressive charge. I heard that student section helped the team win. Now, let's head on to trivia with Seth. How many doors are in the school that you can walk through? Uh, I, I would have to guess maybe 36. That is wrong. There's 306. So I'm here with Evan Britton. Evan, how many doors do you think are in the school that you can walk through? 200. 306. That's close. Kind of. All right. So Blakely, how many doors do you think are in the school that you can walk through? 72. Uh. There's 306. I'm here with Tammy. Tammy, how many doors are in the in the school that you can walk through? All of them. You have to open the door first and then you can walk through them. But like, how many are there? How many doors can I walk through? Well, any door that I open. But like, how many are there? Yeah, like a number. Uh, 25. 306. That sounds so trivial. Let's take a walk. Hello, I'm here with Mason Hoheisel. Mason, what is your biggest accomplishment from your life so far? Uh, probably getting on Owl TV because I'm famous. What is the most unusual place you have ever slept in? Oh man, probably my backyard. 
What is the weirdest combination of food that you like together? Oh, uh, oh, I don't know, man. Probably Doritos and pickles. God, gross. Um, what's the weirdest thing you've ever been grounded for? Uh, uh, to say out loud, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, what's the first thing you would do if you were told you only have 24 hours to live? Um, I'd probably, I'd probably get like a helicopter. I'd buy a helicopter. If all the species of animals could talk, which one would be the rudest? Uh, apes. Do you think that aliens really exist? Yes. Why? Why? Because space is really big. And lastly, if your life had to be lived out as a movie, which movie would you pick? Um, the blind side. Okay, great. Thank you, Mason. Thank you. Wow. Mason's pretty boring. He tried his best. Now, let's go take a look at Mr. Rainier. Uh, hi, this is Mr. Rainier with Logan McKim. Uh, he's related to uh, Caleb Grove, by the way. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. My quote is to uh, go against the flow of the dead fish. And I want to bring in Logan, for example, here. See, Logan, the dead fish, what they are is they're dead. So they go with the stream and with the current, which means there's no creativity. But this guy here, he's not afraid to go against the current. So he's alive and well. So we all need to be fish who are swimming upstream and fighting to be who we are every single day. And this is Logan McKim right here. There you go.